And what's God's favor? Moving your life. Mm -hmm. Can I tell you this? If you want to be successful in anything, it's up to you. Yes. Yes. And some of us are too lazy to be successful. Go ahead, sir. Speak that thing. Because it's going to take some action. Nobody's going to give you anything. Yeah. Uh-huh. God gave his son, but you can't even receive that if you don't do something. Because if you don't do nothing, you can go to heaven. Uh-huh. You got to do something to make it to heaven. My God. I got to confess with my mouth and believe with my heart. And if I do that, I access the benefit to go to heaven. It's always been there. But if I never access it, I'll never get it. If you do nothing, you'll still be where you're at. Uh -huh. So why don't you try something? It ain't going to hurt you. Because the more you say it, the more you believe it. The more you believe it, the more you're going to say it. From the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaks. But from the mouth speaking is where the abundance of the heart comes from. The Bible says faith comes by hearing and hearing the word of God. If faith is going to come from the abundance of my heart, I got to first put faith in my heart. Uh huh. And I put it in my heart by hearing it and by saying it. Yes. Because I need to hear myself say it. God's word. So it can get in my heart. When enough of it gets in my heart, when I get in trouble, my heart speaks with the word. Yes. So if I'm in a terrible predicament right now, doing nothing ain't going to change it. But accessing some of these principles that I gave you this morning can change your situation. But it won't change it if you don't do nothing. And I'm of this persuasion. If you're not going to lose anything, why don't you try it? Yeah. It can't get no worse. Some of us are at our last end. It can't get no worse. You know, I already did what, what Reverend Clay Evans said. You know, reach beyond the brick mm -hmm. and grab the rope. You can't do nothing else. Try it. Try it. Yes. Access God. Let me go to my last weapon for today. Go with me to Nehemiah. Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. Nehemiah, Old Testament. Before the book of Psalms. Nehemiah chapter 8, verse 10. Will you have to say amen? And it reads, Then he said unto them, Go your way, eat the fat, drink the sweet, Send portions unto them for whom nothing is prepared. For this day is holy unto our Lord. Neither be ye sorrow, for the joy of the Lord is our strength. Our next weapon, our seventh weapon that I want to deal with is joy. If the joy of the Lord is my strength, and Psalm 16 and 11, you don't got to go there. Psalm 16 and 11 says, In the presence of God is the fullness of joy. If I want strength, I need to get in the presence of God. Yes. How can I do that? We'll go to with me to Ephesians chapter 5. Ephesians chapter 5. Verse 19. Will you have to say amen? 
Now you can get in the presence of God in prayer. You can get in the presence of God by being in the church service. But Ephesians 5 and 19 tells you how to be in the presence of God on a consistent basis. Listen to what it reads. Speaking to yourself in songs, hymns, and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Read it again. Speaking to yourself in songs, hymns, and spiritual songs. Singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord. Let me throw in this other verse. The Bible says God inhabits the praises of his people. You are his people. When you begin to sing to yourself hymns, songs, spiritual songs, and make melody in your heart, God comes in the midst. And when he's in the midst is the fullness of joy. And in the fullness of joy is your strength. That's why I question what you listen to. Because if you ain't making melody to God, he ain't in the midst. And if he ain't in the midst, there ain't no joy. And if there ain't no joy, you don't have no strength. Can I give you what God gave me? Let your music build you up, not tear you down. Yes. You're beeping, you're jumping, you're doing all that, but is it building you up? You heard all the chords being played, but is it building you up? Because when you get close with God, God will give you a, Bible says he will give you a new song. Uh -huh. You in prayer, he'll give you a song. May not have no tune, may not even know how to play it, but he'll give you a song. And you'll sing it in your heart. That's why I question artists who want to pull a secular song and make it gospel. Because that's not making melody to God. The intent of it was not making melody to God. And when I hear it, see, most of us, some of us are not old school, some of you don't know what the old songs were. But when I heard it, I don't hear it. Jesus. I heard what their original intent was. And it's hard for me to worship when the original tent didn't have anything to do with worship. <laughs> is your music building you up? Or is your music tearing you down? Because with the right music, you may meditate in your heart. God comes in the midst. And where he is, there is strength. That's why when I'm going through, I can pull up a hymn and begin to sing with him and gain strength from the hymn. I'm going through and I can sing, precious Lord, take my hand, lead me on, let me stand. I can sing how great thou art. I can sing songs like that and it gives me strength because I'm making melody in my heart to God and nobody else. And it brings his presence, and in the midst of his presence comes joy. What you say? Is it bring you any joy? What you say? Is it bring you any strength? And some of the stuff we call gospel ain't gospel. Because it brings God's no honor. Me and Kirk can't see eye to eye because I can't see you. Don't let a hook hook you. You got to understand, when people write songs, they write hooks. That's what it's called. It's a hook because it hooks you. It's a melody that all you heard is the melody because it's the hook. And the hook makes you go get the song. So you need to be consistent. You need to be 
need assistance. You need to have joy. And you need to watch what is coming out of your mouth. If you notice, and I'm closing, the weapons of God's warfare, they go hand in hand. If I am consistent with what is coming out of my mouth, I will have joy. So you need to zap for yourself. Some stuff you ain't gonna give up right away. That's right. It's gonna take a little bit of time. But examine yourself and ask yourself the question. Is it really benefiting me? Does this give me joy? temporary high that I got to keep listening to it to keep the high because the songs God gives you the hymns, the songs, the spiritual songs they don't just give you a high they give you an encouragement to face the next step they give you joy in the midst of what you're going through and although you may start singing the song with tears of sorrow, when you get through, you may still be crying. But you ain't crying because you're sad. You're crying because the joy of the Lord has overwhelmed you. And you know that it may not look good right now, but I'm coming out of this. Use your weapons. Let them be beneficial for you. For the building up of your spirit, man. Not the tear down of your spirit. Rest to your feet all over.